Hello, today I show you how to use newspaper art Photoshop action and here is some of results that you can make with this action. Okay, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution of at least 2000 or 3000 pixels on one axis for the best effect. So if you have a photo with too small or too big a resolution, just open your photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height value to 2000 pixels or 3000 pixels. Okay. And before you section, you need to do the steps. Make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop. And if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language. The link under this video. Second step, go to image, mod and check the RGB color and 8 bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and high versions, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options, and check the add copy to copy it less in groups. Okay, that's all. Now, how to use action? First, open your image. And one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, this view, you just need to select photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's okay. The next step, open brushes file. For that, go to the edit, press it, press it manager, in press it type, select brushes, click load, go to the download folder, and just make double click on newspaper at brushes file. Okay, done. Next step, open patterns file. For that, go to the edit, press it, press it manager, in press it type, select patterns, click load, and open newspaper add patterns. Done. And the last step, open action file. For that, go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions. Go to the download folder again and open newspaper at Photoshop action. Okay, the next step, create a new layer and name it area. And please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus. For that you can use brush tool or some of lesser tool. But for this photo I gonna use Quick selection tool. For area layer, you can use any color. Okay, done. The next step, go to the Actions panel. If you close Section panel, just go to the window, Actions, find Action on the Action list, open it and click Play. But before you click Play, make sure that the opacity of Brush Tool and Flow of Brush Tool is 100%. 
OK, click play. Wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions. Speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And time little scroll at this step. OK, when action finishes work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. In final composition, you have 11 folders. It's background elements, back squares, pixel shadows, rectangles and lines, add original details, dark parts newspaper, small squares, little more details, final elements, color affix, color and contour settings. Ok, let's start from background elements. In this folder you can add original background and you can change the color of background. And in this folder you can change the color of your area. It's very useful if you want to show more shadows on your object. Ok, the next folder is back squares. In this folder you can add color to back squares. And if you want to erase some space of this effect, just select layer mask, select brush tool and select black color and just paint on this effect. Black color for erase and if you select white color you can make visible this effect. Ok, the next folder is pixel shadows. In this folder you can add the color to pixel shadows. The next folder it's rectangles and lines. You can also add color to rectangles and lines. And if you see layer mask with this folder, it means that you can erase this effect. In this folder add original details, I think it's very important folder for you. So if you want to add a little more original details from your photo to your composition, just select layer mask, select brush tool and very important select white color and just paint on your object. If you can see now eyes, nose and mouth look more detailed. It's original image black and white layer and you can add original image color. It looks very nice. Ok, the next folder is Dark Paths Newspaper. In this folder you can add 
Nie kale, tu tak pac. Next folder it's small squares. You can add color to this place. Next folder it's little more details. This folder contains light and dark details. Next folder it's final elements. This folder contains paper texture, shadow frame. And in this folder you can add color tone to paper. Next folder it's color effects. This folder contains 10 color effects. And the last folder it's color and contour settings. In this folder you can add original color to your object. And of course if you want to erase some space of your original color, just select layer mask, select brush tool and black color and just paint on your layer. In this folder you can change brightness and contrast of all image. You can add gradient to all image. And if you want to change the colors of this gradient, just make double click on the layer icon, click on gradient and change the color. It's very easy. And the last layer it's color tone to all image. Of course you can change the color. So here is a result. It's really very easy and fast. You need just save, thanks for watching and good luck.